Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The Red Oak. The Red Oak. We've often used it for target practice. Head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? <sighs> Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck. How about you finally go down your own path? I. I, I never wanted to harm anyone. I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, Princess. I, I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak. What you really want to find is... Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Zora went missing. First, I have to get some food to get my strength back. I have to go hunting to get some meat first. I keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Orko, Slavitsa, Dragoy.
true. What's your problem, little one? It looks like it wants the fruit. That's my good deed for the day. Big one. I hope I can take it down. A bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. Your blood won't go to waste. shall flow through my heart forever now, because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. Monsters trap birds just for fun. I can try to force them open. Fly away. People have always accused me of helping Baba. Called me a a freak. When Zora disappeared too, there was nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So, here I am. Finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak.
Looks fine. Looking for a lost sister. Was that a, a, a lost spirit? Three years ago, the same that haunts my every dream. <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek, look for any sign of Zora, bow before the master of the house. They're hissing, huh? Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Um... The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? You're mad.
trail of crumbs? Those goddamn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> See the vines? Whoa. Not bad. Forest has been crawling with these lately. <sighs> it's that spirit again. There's something about it that reminds me of Brackle. Back out, the bridge is broken. I can't. So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. No. Figure out something that makes sense. Fish. I should make myself a fishing rod one day. Good winters. Mm. Mm. You're you're the giant mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you? Oh, oh shoot! A human girl, and she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost familiar. Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Ooh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Did she come along? Uh, where's Keep she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... See, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borko. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> I wonder if this... This terrible, mighty dragon and, uh, lost spirit I saw a while ago could be linked somehow. Did you happen to see it too? Oh, a lost spirit, huh? I'm afraid I didn't. The restless souls reveal themselves only to whom they choose. And sometimes they can carry lost memories. Lost memories? Yes, the ones you both share. You have to follow the spirit and relive the memories so the lost soul can finally rest. Some say it's nearly impossible that you may lose everything, including your life. But trust me, it's worth the risk. Because by helping the spirits, you might help yourself too. Hmm. We all carry our own burdens. Ah, uh, yes. Such as the... Fire, Drake? It seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge. So maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, 
And we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face, even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar. <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure I am. <laughs> Hang in there, Zora. Wherever you are. It can save your sorry ass. You gotta learn every way to crawl out of your own grave. A crystal wool. Curious. One day it'll shatter. Or you will. Keep moving. I think I know this place. I was here, like... Yeah. Painful memories. Good. Pain means you're not dead. Yet. Fine. There's keepers. You can brew an interesting stew out of it back in the hut and finally become a hero in your own story. <laughs>
You could always shoot the hive down. You little. Did you just trick the bees to get the honey twice? Liar, liar. upon a shooting star. of your time. Oh, uh, good day to you, Mr... Mr. Lava. Not a very good day to be alive, I gotta say. All underworlds are rage. The others protesting, lost souls ridden around, and made tunnels blocked by those awful roads. Gotta dig the terrors. It's got me all twisted. Tell me, miss, did I go up or did I go down? You must have gone up to get here, Mr. Lava. Oh, yes, that's so. Thank you, miss. I should get back to work. The monsters aren't going to milk themselves, are they? Can be just, but your she is patient. old ritual statue. You spilled those to ward off the winter. Days of yore.
fish. Camp? Well done. This right place, right time. Keep quiet. <laughs> How nice. Someone came to dinner. Too bad you didn't give us a chance to tidy up the place first. So much dirt everywhere. I guess we need to at least sweep the floors. <sighs> what is this? Artifact of great power. But sure, it makes it easier to take care of the trash. But. but what was it even doing here? This thing's got a mind of its own. It found you. It'll be back if you need it. So. a bound to stick together through thick and thin. Yes. I'll ride it wildly in the pale moonlight, howling wind, and. Uh... Are you finished? Don't push it, Princess. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Oh, 
Now you get the idea. A Babak minus a mortal soul makes a shell of mm -hmm. and their souls trapped in between, awaiting their chance. We've all been there. Lord of Thunder, may your light show me the way. Keep me free as the birds on your sky. with a bang. Tremble before our might, puny mortal. Soon, the rivers will flow with the blood of all who dare to oppose the eternal empire of ants. I... I beg your mercy, my queen empress. Enough! Show me the way to the human settlement. 
so I can lead my merciless army and pour my wrath upon them. Those rivers of blood don't really sound too good to me. There will be no alliance between us and Queen. Soon, all will know the true meaning of horror. taking its life for my own needs. Have you lost your way to the village, serf? Oh, what a gallant steed you are. Borvi Borko sent me to help you with that honey case. Huh! He sent you? <sighs> well then, it seems the time has come to earn your valor, squire. We need to stop that filthy dragon from gorging on our people. We'll serve it some proper justice instead. Squire, huh? <clears throat> How do you propose we proceed, my lord? I have designed a special piece of siege machinery, a work of wonder. We will push it into the dragon's lair, where it shall bestow God's will upon the beast. The problem is we're still missing black powder. I need someone small and sneaky for the job. <sighs> Something tells me this is where I step in. Correct. You'll need to retrieve it from a bloody outlaw's lair. Rebel gods curse his name. Slippery Jack's friend? Why won't you go, sir? Well, uh... <laughs> Good one. Rebel is one of the cursed, of course. And I am a grand. Without further ado, Shall we free the land of the dragon's reign? I think I'm good to go. Uh, I, I mean... I shall not wait any longer to obtain the most wondrous artifact from the Defiler's domain. <sighs> Splendid! Retrieve the powder! When you're done, you'll find me at my... Anything wrong? Shh. Can you hear it? The enemy's approaching! Stand and fight for your life, Squire! There are too many of them. Whoa. It does that? I used to hate this thing. Stuck on my hand You've as... almost figured it out. That fancy gauntlet of yours. Learn, act, repeat. One day you'll get the most out of it. I, I... I don't think I can repeat... The cauldron has all the answers. I'll try. Ah! 
take that, you bunch of crooks. Ant invasion called off. At least, around here. Now, make it special. Boost your shot with the gauntlet's energy. How the hell? Hmm. We're getting somewhere. <sighs> now, what was it the mushroom wanted? I'm here for uh, I'll be damned. Uh, Look who's there! It's the little kitty goat sent by the stiff necked knight to rob me of the explosives. I'm not all warmed up after the nap, but it's still gonna be enough for you. <laughs> one stone, one dead raven. That's awesome truck!
it is. Someone there? <gasps> the mushroom's blood is still warm as the girl in a peculiar mask leaves his lair. Isn't that a lovely scene? Dona. Well, I guess I'm not the only peculiar looking person around. Hi, what big eyes you have. All the better to see you with. See who you are. See what you did. Look, I can explain. Never do that. Not in front of me. Whispers can be extremely loud if you know where to listen. Don't mind the poor soul here. He will grow back anyway. That is how mushrooms are. Coming here was a dead end, though. You can deliver the package later. But at the end of the day, that's not what gets you past the bridge. I don't quite... Your fellow mushrooms and I made a deal to get rid of the dragon. The dragon is just an idea, a facade to the real problems of the forest. Following the trail of honey would be the first step towards dealing with them, without making so much unnecessary noise. Oh, I get it. The operation goes undercover. So, where does this trail start, exactly? On the offering site, under the mill, in front of the so-called Dragon's Den. Take this pot of honey, plant a lure, take cover, and see who shows up. I'm sure the result may surprise us. You may want to seek me out after you're done there. Some princess's beauty sleep may be just about to end. Hmm. Let us proceed with the investigation then, Mr... I'm... A man of shadows. Make sure to never turn your back on them, masked girl. Can be just, but your she is patient.
Mm. Oi, miss. Fancy seeing you again. Miss, I'll be honest with you. If I don't get sticks and stones to break old bones, soon there won't be any room left for new corpses. I already have some stones, but sticks are illegal in the underworld. Do you think you could discreetly help me out with uh, five sticks? Uh, th this week's supply is not here yet. I'll get back to you when the goods are available. Mm. Uh, th this week's supply is not here yet. I'll get back to you when the goods are available. So happens I might just have some top tier quality sticks for you from under the table. Thank you so much for your good deed, miss. If you ever end up dead, there will be a cozy place down there for you. You have my word. Oh, spit it out already. But we've never met. Oh, he thinks you're her. She must have been here. Zora, do you know where she... Uh, where I went when we met last time? Some of us die for nothing. Some of us live for nothing. The darker the night, the brighter the stars.
So, this must be the dragon's den. Time to drop the lure somewhere around. I don't see you. Just a regular stick. Nothing more. <sighs> now, for some hiding spot. See what happens. Oh. One, are you looking for something here? Oh, oh, oh um, me? <laughs> Would I look for honey? I, I, I don't even like honey. I never said you were looking for honey. Oh, uh, neither did I. Listen, kid. Uh, my name's Twig. What are you really doing here, Twig? I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, oh, trying to save Blossom. My sister. Ooh, the dragon got her. She's in the cave. Oh, you gotta help me. Dragon, huh? Well, I might as well take a look inside. You sure? Dripping with honey. Could they be the fabled sticky arrows? Whoa. Too bad there are so few. Ugh. <sighs> 
Just a little bit further. Did she really go there? She sure did. You have to jump down now. Jump down? There? You've got to be kidding me. Well, don't worry. There's another way out. Blossom, are you there? Blossom! Take it easy. I'm going for her. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. You're not the only one. Twig, I'll get you for this. <laughs> oh, you're not going anywhere. Here, kill yourself. <laughs> Who? Oh, who's there? Oh, please? <laughs> Be me so full. Uh, excuse me? No, oh, go away! Pee Wee can't have any more honey, or he'll <clears throat> bite your head off. Your feet, Pee Wee. One way or another. <sighs> no more, honey! I can see that upset stomach of yours is killing you, but that's no reason to treat your guests like that. Wait a minute. You're not a real dragon. You're just a... an imp. But bigger and with... Well, you sure don't look like a regular imp to me. An imp? Maybe a long, long time ago. Peewee, right? What happened to you? Peewee, oh, oh. oh, his brother Leewee were looking for food. For their tribe. Oh, went deeper than ever before. And got taken by the roots. Oh, the roots gave them strange thoughts. Who <laughs> gave them hunger? Who <laughs> made them see terrible things? Who <laughs> made them see her? Huh? Shut your goddamn gob, Pee Wee, or I'll stuff it with more honey. Um, is your brother somewhere around? <sighs> Lee Wee? No, he got out, <laughs> escaped the roots, <sighs> went home, no doubt. <laughs> the sacred grove, <laughs> then 
The children came. You mean the little mushrooms? <laughs> they said they'd give Pee Wee a share of honey if he helps them get more of it. <laughs> oh, if he makes <laughs> dragon noises. Mm. Liquid gold rules the world. Oh, Pee Wee, so full. <laughs> Can't have any more, but oh, please. I think you've had enough already. Just go. Oh, please, no one final sip. He we need it. Just a little sip, please. Hi. <laughs> it was high time he went on a diet. You heard what he said. The Roots did this to him. A great day to be a stick, isn't it? Some air. And the dragon. I guess it's no more. <laughs> hmm. Why would anyone build a deer statue in the middle of the woods? Not you again. What the? Listen. The cat says that the stone says that one of the stonelings fell into the river. It'll turn into a useless goldfish if it stays in the water for too long. We can't let that happen. You'll need to fish it out, and for that, you'll need a rod with a golden line. They say one of the red roses hid the line years ago, and no one has ever seen it since. Are you serious? Do any of us look like we're joking? But... Find the red rose. That's what the stone said, and that's what we're gonna do.
see the rose? Keep the bow hidden. They're easy to scare. Gotta see what it's looking at. The sparks blow them away. They say the evil roses steal Mises' eyes, forcing them to look at their riches from afar forever. But no punishment should last that long. says, the stone says, that's the one. We don't have much time. Put it on a stick, and we're good to go. The cat said. The cat says that the stone said. What is it that you don't understand in this sentence? Down the river. a carp, not a goldfish or stoning. Well, no wonder the stone got that wrong. He doesn't even have real eyes or ears. What? Wait a minute. <clears throat> Might as well eat the fish. It's not like it's gonna grant you three wishes or any wishes. Let's get out of here. to keep my guard up. Something's different. I can't hear the oh. roaring anymore. <laughs> Did you? Oh. There was no dragon in there. Just a fat, gluttonous imp. <laughs> See, Jack? Smoke and mirrors. Greed poisons men's souls and minds. <laughs> Just because there was no dragon in there doesn't mean there isn't any. <laughs> or maybe she slew the beast, but she's just too humble to take all the glory, huh? <laughs> <sighs> anyway, we fixed the bridge just as promised. And here's something more for the effort. Yes, some very special <laughs> sticky arrows. I think you'll figure out how to craft more of them easily. <laughs> Hands for sticky arrows! I've heard of mighty hunters who made them. That knowledge was long forgotten. Slowing the enemies down will surely give me an upper hand. 
Unless it's the witch, who... The witch? What are you talking about? The witch is long gone. Um, you know, Baba the witch. You must have heard of her. People talk about her all the time. Ah, we know what you speak of, girl. But Baba, as you put it, is no witch. It's something far darker. Baba. Baba. Oh, that's a hell of a name, though. Anyway, good luck and take care. Oh, and see you around. I have a feeling we'll meet again soon enough. Hey there, Dragon Slayer. <laughs> Ah, nice little souvenir. I'll look good on a shelf. the bridge. <laughs> Took them a while. Weavers of life keep on spinning my thread. Memories. Dragoy, I'm coming for you. Spring cleaning. Or summer. Whatever. There's something in there. It looks a bit like him. <laughs> What's this? Who's...
Pragoi, is this how you... Why am I even seeing this? He seems to be... afraid of me. Wanna find out why? I just hope this is getting me closer to Zora. May your hand be just, but your she is patient. 